Morning. Do you mind if I join you? Didn't you know this is a private beach? Yes. And I have a permit for it. Who issued you with that? Thorpe. It's only valid for a week. I'll be gone soon enough anyway. And where are you off to? Syria. Oh, you do like trouble, don't you? It's my job. It's what we poor, penniless artists have to do all over the world. Something called work. We have been over this before. Anyway, lots of artists make mountains of money nowadays. Yes, I know. But certainly not me. What work do you do? I manage Alan's property portfolio. He acquired a lot of repossessed homes after the property crash. England has been particularly good value. What about those people who lost their homes? We didn't write those mortgages. It is unfortunate. Anyway, Alan has very generously offered me the chance to give up work, and I've chosen to do that. So, you're a lady of leisure. A lady who supports her husband. Alan is an extremely successful businessman, and I want to entertain for him. Can you cook? I've been known to, yes. But it's not a requirement for the kind of lifestyle we lead. Me too. I'm not a good cook either. Ah, mm. I didn't say that. Took, I cooked for my dad every night after my mom died. I know about every cut of meat you can imagine. Except rabbits. <laughs> They are not my forte. <laughs> oh, you're quite an enigma, June Bennett. What do you mean? Oh, you're young, pretty, successful, and you're marrying a multi-millionaire your father's age. How the hell did that happen? What about you, Geoffrey Howden? Talented, caring, you own half this village, and yet you run away from everything and everyone you love. How did that happen? You know, having money is not a solution. It's a problem if you don't know what to do with it. I know what I'm doing. What's your future? I've had talk and promises through men all of my life. And Alan is the only one who asked me to marry him. How proper. You know, you really are quite something, Miss Bennett. I'm off for a swim now. <laughs> <laughs>